American talk show host Jimmy Fallon admitted that Queen Elizabeth had always been his dream guest to have on the show. Jimmy Fallon, host of The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, was among a number of television presenters to give their heartfelt thanks to Queen Elizabeth II in televised tributes across the world. The presenter, usually known for his quick-witted comedy, gave a serious and emotional tribute to the late monarch. Reminiscing on how he always wanted her to be a guest on his show. Countless celebrities, leaders and royals have made tributes to Queen Elizabeth since news of her death took over headlines across the world. Speaking on the show shortly after the news broke, Fallon shared an intimate tribute to the late Queen, revealing, as a talk show host you often get asked the question, who would be your dream guest? My answer was always the Queen. I've always been a fan. I've admired the way she conducted herself always with class, grace and dignity but also she had a great sense of humor. She was very funny and I loved that about her. She leaves behind a great legacy and she will be missed but not forgotten. A few days after his tribute, Fallon returned to his usual comedic content, after King Charles III made his first official statement as a monarch. saying, he's now the oldest person ever to assume the British throne but weirdly he's still too young to be a U.S. president. The host also joked that there may be some nepotism involved in the royal family as Prince William assumes his father's role as Prince of Wales. Fallon was not the only light-hearted host to take a serious turn in his tribute to the late monarch, as London-born host James Corden shared his heartfelt thanks for the only queen most of us have ever known. In a three-minute-long tribute, The Late Late Show with James Corden host said. We viewed her as a mortal, an essential part of the fabric of our world. There is of course an outpouring of grief and love across the globe. She was universally adored. She represented good in this world, living a life of honor, a life dedicated to service, dedicated to bettering the lives of others. For 70 years she never wavered, she was never political. She didn't need us to hear her opinions. She never gave an interview. She never posted on social media. It was never for her about her own PR.